and our congregation runs uh, non-COVID times, runs at a attendance of around 350 people, uh, sometimes more, sometimes less. And so that would be the size of our congregation. We have uh, a giant building. Just to give you a little bit of setting, uh, we have a, a huge building that can fit uh, in, the, in the normal sanctuary. We can fit over 400 people. We have overflow and we can, we can, we have a basement. And, and uh, yeah, we, we, we are not cramped for space. And so, but most of the time during the COVID time, uh, since March 22, we shut down and we followed protocol. We have been adhering to uh, most of the protocols most of the time. And uh, we are conscious of the fact that, that we are not an island to ourselves. We are part of the Belizean people. We, uh, we are proud of our country. We are proud of our Belizean people. And we want to work together with you. I do not believe a mask because science is not behind it. And statistics show that the mask COVID infected people have been to the most better part wearing masks. Our people in our communities, we have known no cases, none. We had in the past months ago, we have no cases that I am aware of. So I firmly believe that a mask does not protect you from COVID. This morning, in comparison to a political motorcade that happened over the weekend, the commissioner called your activity at your congregation outrageous and reckless. What's your response to that? I would, I would want to just, def uh, I don't want to defy it. I don't want to get it into political. They have to do what they have to do. If they see it essential and they see it, uh, uh, applicable that they can back it up with whatever they need to back it up that's their case we believe firmly believe that the Bible calls us to fellowship and unify